Awesome. Welcome, my friends, to the first part of our lesson three on the grab and release. And so in the software, the very first step is looking at the idea that we need motorized tools. So I want you to think about the world around you. Look in your school, look at home, look at the devices you use or your parents use. Uh, think about current events. I'll give you a hint. NASA. There's lots of these amazing ideas happening all over. Maybe even take a look at what was going on in the Suez Canal at the time of this recording. We had a little bit of a uh, traffic jam there, so to speak. So in this one, I want you to be thinking about current events, the world around you in terms of robots and machines that are using motorized tools to solve problems and provide solutions to things that we're trying to achieve and the adversity that we're facing. More importantly, at a more local level, I want you to be thinking about your robot kit. So if you think about those real world connections, I want you to explore your kit a little bit. Take a look at the driving base. And I want you to kind of just spend some time in your kit, right? Looking at the parts and pieces and think about what would you need in order to move objects around. If I wanted to grab this cuboid that we've been messing around with and pick it up from this spot and move it over here, what parts would I need? So I want you to take a look in your kit and just start to brainstorm and maybe look at what are some possible ways. There are many ways to do this. For the sake of this lesson, we'll be building uh, the model that is provided to us. But be thinking about that because if you start to apply it to your own builds, your own designs, and your own problems, if you're in first Lego League or doing a challenge in your classroom or something at home, um, you know, you can start to kind of cross-pollinate these ideas. So look at the sensors, look at the parts, kind of tinker, have some conversations, and join in the conversation, the Slack channel, where we're going to be sharing out some ideas and examples of what we were able to observe in terms of robots using motorized tools. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace.